That means every year you have to pay $5,760 just to live in the house, and that's money for taxes. At my house, 1300 a year, just for taxes. So a $480,000 house has that property tax. Do you think a $600,000 house would be more or less than $5,760? More, right? The bigger your house, the more your house is worth, the more property tax you're going to be assessed. So, let's set up a proportion. Let's let tax be on top. And we'll let the value be down here. There's no rule saying it has to be tax over value. You could have done value over tax. However, if you do tax over value here, you have to do tax over value. But you could do value over tax, value over tax. Right? And then this would be our first house information, and this would be our second house information. So, first. A 480 grand house has a property tax of around six grand. The tax was 5,760. Over value, the value is 480,000. Next, what would be the property tax? That would be my X, and X tax goes on top. Of a $600,000 house. Well, that would go down here, right? So, for a $480,000 house, you pay five seven sixty. dollars for a $600,000 house, how much would you pay? You could have both of these flipped and you would still get the same answer. But if you, you have to do tax over value, tax over value, or value tax, value tax. Your choice. Doing some math. That'd be 480,000 X. And then 5,760 times 60,000. Wow, that is three, four, five, six, and then six zeros. Divide both sides by 480,000 and you get 7,200. That sounds about right to me. If this guy in pink pays around five or six grand and this house is worth 120,000 more, expected to be around 7,000. That makes reasonable sense to me. So the property tax would be 7,200 dollars. Questions? Robbie goes fishing one day and he catches 15 fish. Anyone ever go fishing before? You ever catch 15 fish? You ever catch one? I, every time I go fishing, I can't catch anything. And when I do, it's like these little bitty, bitty fish I have to throw back in. If you've never been fishing, try it out. It's actually kind of fun. The worst part, I would think, is when you have the hook in the fish and you have to unhook it and throw the fish back in, right? Or some people, they don't like putting the worm on the hook. Anyway, Robbie goes fishing. He catches 15 fish. He notices that four of those fish have red fins. If the total population of the lake is 120,000 fish, how many, approximately, fish have red fins. We need to change this question. We don't know 
exactly how many, but if you catch 15 fish, it's, this is called sampling. So if you look at 15 fish, and you could use that as a sample, and that's why in you know, like biology and stuff, they'll sometimes put a little marker on the animals, and then they'll let them live a little bit, and then they'll get the sample size, and they can collect all kinds of data from that. So let's let the top of our fraction be number of red over the fish and this is going to be from him fishing and this is going to be from the total okay so he catches 15 fish so let's let this be Robbie right here okay Robbie so this fraction is going to be about Robbie. Well, if we caught 15 fish, 15 would go on bottom, right? How many of those were red? Four. And I should say you had red fins. They weren't all red. So I don't think I'd eat a whole red fish. Four. Now I have four over 15. Equal. hundred and twenty thousand fish in the lake approximately we can't count fish or know for exact so it'd be hundred and twenty thousand goes on top or bottom red is on top fish are on bottom how many fish have red fins well we don't know that's why we're doing X and all this is saying, if I have 4 out of 15 fish with red fins, and there's 120,000 fish, how many do you think would have red fins? And this is an approximation. We don't know for sure. Doing the math. 15x. Four times 120 grand. 120,000 is 480,000. 124 times is 480. Divide by 15, you get 32,000. So fish have red fins. And remember, this is called a sample. So it could be that he got lucky and he caught all the only five, I'm sorry, the only four with red fins in the whole lake. That could be true. And maybe this isn't true at all. But we're, okay. Questions? So what was our skill today? Our skill was learning how to solve problems using proportions. And the way we know all these are proportions is because we had a fraction equal to a fraction. So can you set up a proportion? So can you solve problems using proportions I'm a four I know my proportions I can do them left and right I can tutor I can teach maybe you're a four maybe you're a three you just understand you can't quite teach it yet two you need help the class is small I would expect you to ask me for help if you need help and one, maybe you have no idea what I just did.
looking at this student, if this was a student in my class, I would say they are wasting their time in my class. Right? They were already fours on everything. Not like so. Proportions. 90. And this one. So we have two proportion IXLs that will help you get them both to a ninety. Seven today. I'll give you Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday, do nine ten. And you kind of keep an eye on the uh, clock because according to our schedule, we've been doing right on schedule. Um, looks like two Mondays from now we'll have our test. Okay, which would be our second test.